What is going on ladies and gentlemen, it is your boy Jody Smoke the Mad Scientist and we are back again with another build that is cut from a different cloth. Please like and subscribe, check out my channel and all my other build content. Now today we have taken a unique approach on a well known damage build. With this build we will be able to achieve three main benefits. One, it is going to allow us survivability in the dark zone which I think nowadays is extremely important and it means we don't have to rely on has a protection so much as our armor is so large that we should be able to handle most statuses that get applied to us and be able to pop a medikit before we are killed by the damage over time effect. Second of all, it's going to allow us to hit multiple enemies at once and also to hit enemies from behind cover which is minimizing your damage input which I can't stress is extremely important. In third of all, it allows us to hit like a DPS build and you will see we are running a 6 tier blue build. It is of course a PvP build and if you haven't guessed it, we are using Negotiate as Dilemma and it is most effective used in the team but it does have benefits for solo play as it's great for clearing landmarks as well as killing those pesky rogue agents. You're going to gain significant situational advantages by using this build that will benefit PvP which is why I recommend the build for PvP but I did clear a few heroics today solo with this build and it can be clutch to kill enemies that hide around the corners because you do have the ability to run through enemies and take a bit of damage and you do have the survivability and then you can tag the enemies and run around the corner and shoot someone else and still damage those pesky hard to get enemies such as the drone operators and the commanders who tend to sit in the back of the rooms but we're going to get straight in with the build and i won't take too much of your time i'll try and give a little quick demonstration please stick around if you want to have a little look to see how effective it is if not then i hope you enjoy the build starting off we are using the demolitionist mainly for the 20 percent burn resistance only for the dark zone as it does play dividends with everyone running around with that imperial dynasty holster which can be extremely Difficult to counter, especially if you haven't got a gun where you're very good at hip firing. This does have the benefit of being able to face tank someone. So what I normally do if I do get burned is I run at them and I just kind of spray these one of these two weapons all around them. It will stop them from effectively shooting you until the blind uh, till the burn duration has finished. <clears throat> what you'll notice is probably from this build is that we are running blues on the negotiator as opposed to weapon damage. This is to boost our armor to 1.9 million and give us that survivability I was talking about. You can probably consecutively take quite a bit of damage from two rogue agents and still pop an armor kit and be able to survive with a bit of dodging. You, you don't have to be too effective as this as you do have so much armor. If you play it you will be able to see and I'll try and give you an example of how, how well the survivability on this build works. We're pairing that with a Gila for the extra armor and the Solokov for the SMG damage, but we'll go through that in a minute. As you can see, I am using critical hit damage and armor, and I am rolling it on all these pieces. I will need to roll it on the mask, so I can optimize it 12%, as well as rolling the explosive resistance there for crit damage to optimize it to 24%. I would recommend with this build that the second thing you will roll, as opposed to critical hit damage, is armor regeneration. It's very clutch in the dark zone. I think it's been underrated at the moment, um, but you do get that extra repair over time, which can be clutch, especially if you're using Negotiate as effectively and hiding around corners and damaging enemies where you're not taking damage. It will allow that armor regeneration to tick and keep your armor higher than it already is, and it's, 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 you've got great survivability as, as you are. What you'll notice with this build is we are using the Perfectly Vindictive, we're pairing that with the Bleed Hive but also all the statuses that you do get in the Dark Zone makes it a lot easier for Vindictive to be propped. This will give us 18% critical chance and damage to boost our critical hit damage numbers further. Uh, we are currently running 47% critical hit damage but if I take this 7% off there I could lose that down to 40 and I would optimise the build but for the sake of losing 4% crit and over optimising my crit by 4% I'm not really too concerned about that because we are gaining this uh, critical hit damage bonus and we are hitting at 60% and of course you want to be at 60% because negotiate as worse most effectively when you are because only critical hits will damage the enemy and again this is why we're using the backpack so we can maximize the damage to additional marked enemies from 60% to 100. We're mixing that with the perfectly strained we can gain 80% damage off the perfectly strained we can gain 
18% damage off that, that is 98% critical hit damage we can optimize by first procking perfectly vindictive and then using strained. And then on top of that we're gaining the critical hits which is maximized at 6%. We are gaining the weapon damage to boost our weapon damage with this build. Pairing that off with a Solokov for the extra 10% SMG damage. And as you see, it's currently at 140% me critical hit damage. I can optimize that to 164% with changing them too. Then on top of that we are gaining 18% for 164 is going up to 182. And then on top of that 182 we are gaining up to 40% from using negotiators. So that 182 is turned into 222 and then eventually with the, the strained working we are getting 80. That is 302% potential weapon damage that you can receive. This will boost this build base damage up to anything from about 300,000 a shot and as well as the similar damage with the grudge which effectively runs in the firing zone is about 8 to 10 million but i thought it would be more effective to show you a little demonstration in the dark zone as i believe this is where this build is the most effective so what we're going to do we're going to have a little run over to here i won't take too much time with this demonstration but as you can see i mean that absolutely makes him and that's just base and if you use this build effectively say tag an enemy tag an enemy tag an enemy we we'll drop that we also run the five tier shield as you can see so we do get that uh, six tier shield so we do get an extra boost and as you can see now vindictive and that is starting to drop we'll probably get a better example on this boss so don't use the buff which i'm probably gonna as you can see that's 286 i think i saw there and the shield gives a huge survivability and as you can see i can take a significant amount of damage from an elite enemy and then gun it all pesky you can you can see the survivability of this build but i mean we can pretty much base tank someone to a certain extent you can pair this off with other talents like efficient or unbreakable to make it a little bit more uh, tankier in the dark zone it'll give you that little extra boost but I wouldn't recommend it personally as you want to try and optimize the weapon damage because of course negotiate as is a DPS oh that's not too bad negotiate as is a DPS um, talent and the only reason we are running the six blues is for that survivability but I mean that's the build I hope you enjoyed it and I will note one more thing before I go beauty about the negotiate as is you could tag two rogue agents you could turn around the corner and then you could tag his skill and you will just continually shoot his skill for example from cover and it will actually damage the two rogue agents or you could run around the corner and start shooting an ad whose damage output to you is less and that is also another effective way to attack rogue agents and it effectively means you don't have to take any damage at all and you can be absolutely slamming other people and other agents and it's it's a really it's a really difficult um build to try and get around but i'm going to get this uh, dark zone drop thank you very much for the build hope you enjoyed it please like and subscribe peace out stay safe and enjoy division